Hi, this is Inga. I'm a South African actress. Do enjoy my showreel. I always wanted to be in the movies. When I was little, I thought for sure one day I could be a big, big star. Or maybe just beautiful. Beautiful and rich. Like the women on TV. I had a lot of dreams, and I guess you could call me a real romantic, because I truly believed that one day they'd all come true. I used to dream about it for hours, and as the years went by, I learned to stop sharing it with people. They all said I was just a dreamer. Whenever I was down, I would just escape to my other life, or I was someone else. And it made me happy to think that all these people, they just didn't know yet who I was going to be. But one day, they'd all see. And I'd heard that Marilyn Monroe she was discovered in a soda shop. And I thought, well, for sure, it could be like that. So I started going out, real young. And I was always secretly wondering, so who's it gonna be? Who's gonna discover me? Will it be this guy? Or maybe this one? Never knew. And even if they didn't take me all the way, like Marilyn, they would somehow just believe in me just enough, see me for who I could be, and think I was beautiful, like a diamond in the rock. Yeah. Take me away to my new life, my new world everything would be different. I lived that way for a long time in my head, dreaming. It was nice. And then one day, it just stopped. Yeah, I have a puppy. For those of you that don't know me, I am... Um, well, what happened was I got arrested <laughs> again. Because I uh, I was trying to catch up to my, my the guy that I like. You're a, a rap star. But you are reporting me to the police. And so now I are being sentenced to six months in... Uh, in Paul's Moor. It's a very, very depressing actually. But for love, I will do anything. And I will not give up. So I am sitting here in the garden here at, um, at Paul's Moor because they are telling me that I must take time to reflect on my actions. And they are telling me that I must write him a letter of apology and, and then maybe they will let me out like early because the, the, uh, the magistrate, he said that he will sentence me in terms of 276i. I, know, I don't know what that means, but I think it means something like, if my behavior is good, then they will let me out like soon. So, um, I've written this letter to Jack, uh, sorry, I don't want to say his name because, yeah. But I've written this letter to my, um, my the love of my life. But just in case he doesn't get the letter, because sometimes the prison authorities, they kind of confiscate your things if you have like stuff that is too explicit. You know, I, I did send him some photographs as well. But yeah, I just, if, if somebody can please put this on, on the YouTube channel, 
and then make sure that he gets it. Um, my darling, I am not giving up on you and please do not be depressed that I am sitting in jail because it is a sacrifice and for true love we must sacrifice and I am proud to be sitting here for love. That, that is all that I wanted to say. And, and to the fans of Poppy that are out there, don't worry about Poppy. Poppy will be fine. Because Poppy has got her rap music to listen to. And one day Poppy is going to be a rap star. Just like Poppy's love of Poppy's life. Who's living there in the northern suburbs. And I know you are waiting for me. In fact, I am hoping I will be transferred to Goodwood Prison. Because that will be closer to him. Thanks. Okay. Bye. 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 Hello, I am Poppy. We are here um, from Show Off News Agency. Um, we are based in Paro. I don't know what has happened here, but there is some kind of emergency in this town. I am very frightened. I'm trying to go and interview these people back here. They're very strange. I'm a bit scared, so it's going to take a little while for me to get the guts to talk to these people. Scores of zombies are walking along the Sea Point beachfront here in Cape Town. Some emergency has hit the town. There are no police. The police are obviously too scared to come. And we are just, we are being crowded by zombies. There are even more zombies. Depressed, feel like starting it all again. Then why not come along to the Fresh Start Club? Everybody, everybody, welcome. Zombies don't eat zombies. It's not a zombie, dude. Take a look. Oh, oh you're a poppy. I'm a poppy. She's a poppy.